This video is chopped, and you say it. Chopped you said I'm yeah. chopping this thing up the way I want the way to. I I'm gonna chop the screw this tape up because that's what I want to do. It's my time with my narrative. I let you play your game for a long time, boy. I'm gonna do it my way. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to I wanna understand. First of all, in that video when you done that. Why was it? What? Why was the anger? Did he say something to you? Cause you was like the detectives already got it. Detectives already got it, so they already know you don't scare me, boy. And and what was because, the because what was he, the anger he's for? Some, Cause I I've been had, no this happened in November, November the second. Yeah. Right, so y'all know y'all just now seeing this. Yeah, tape. I remember, that I, and I, I remember somebody had told me that it was a video, uh, and I was like, "Man, damn, it's a video of the fight." Because you heard about it, but you didn't see nothing. And I'm the type of dude I'm like, if it ain't real unless I see it. So when I heard about it, I was like, "Man, wonder what the video." So you said November when I got the call, you had that was a video. That was a video. Okay, but see, then nobody know I had the video, right? And then I didn't know it was another video on the other end because the dude on the other end at the other barbershop, he got one on the outside of his wall. Is that where the other picture that's, came from? That's the what, one, the, uh, where she was standing where the, the other shot from? So, where you from? Nah, 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 Okay, okay. That's another fun. It's another video. So it's nobody, a whole it's, another it's video. another video ain't nobody seen again. You see, I got another video ain't nobody seen the word. So this is where he catch the case at. You see what I'm saying? This story really deep. Wow. So that's good. It, it, will that video come out or? You know, I, I don't know, man. I, I might put it out. <laughs> But okay, so I'm I'm might here. Play with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's time to screw. It's time for me to have fun. You had fun on what, what's this now? Yeah, yeah. He, what, what he, yeah, yeah. And I ain't he been talk, saying talk, nothing. He you talk, know? And the reason why I didn't say nothing is because you 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 say this man hit you with a gun. Right? Yeah, that's what, what that it man was. did. That was so disrespectful. Cause where I come from, I at least would have tapped you. Hey, I told you I was gonna catch you. You know what I'm saying? I got you now. Or not hit a man while he's sleep, but the things that he said to a man, I'm coming to get you wherever I see you. And as I talk with Kevin Spence, he said, "I don't give a damn where he was, Trey. He didn't care where. I don't he care was. if he was at church. I was gonna get him. You know. So as, 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 that put me in a hell of a bind." That's what I and that's why I asked you like this was your business, man. This is my business, like, and, and and you in business. This is a business. This business been here right. for uh, going on eighteen years. Um, altercations, if they happen here, I'm gonna feel very upset because this is a staple in this community. People know this store and they love this store and they shop here and they grew up shopping here. This is where people love to come. Like and so I was wanting to ask you that question. Like, damn, like this is your business. If you was, how would you set somebody up at your business yeah, and you do, put all your money up like yeah, I that? Do preach, I you do see what I'm saying? I do prominent preachers. I do back to school. You don't away. want that. Smoke? I don't want that in my shop. And I'm a felon, right? And I know his brother just come home from prison. He done done 31 years. And for you to go and say it's a gun, and that you automatically endangering your brother. So I'm thinking, trying to think for your brother. I'm trying to think for me. You didn't hit, you saying he hit him with a gun now? Now just for real. Now everybody know. Now say if I don't say he say he hit him with a gun, right? Just got attacked by Kevin Spencer asleep in the barber chair. Hit me upside the head with a gun. And I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. I just let him go along with that lie. He hit him with a gun. He know this man is a federal. He know all he gotta do is get caught with a gun. That's that's that they gonna that's that's intensifying. It's over. it's over. You already didn't had a major case. Wow. So, so if I just let you say he hit him with a gun, and I don't say nothing, what kind of wrath you think gonna come down on me? That's real. That's real. I agree one hundred percent. But what I wanted to get to because you see, some people who watch him may not have seen the video and stuff like that. So I really wanted you to um, walk me through this part. So you was cutting his hair. You were doing his hair, right? Right. When there was this another man, guy behind him. When cut. when this man walked in, and you saw when the man walked in while he was sleeping, right? You saw him coming. No. Nah. You didn't see him come. Uh. Uh-uh. So when, because you know, when you walk through a business, especially a barbershop, you hear ding. 
Because right. normally barbershops, so, you so have a thing on the door. So my barbershop, we, we, what you call where you got to come through a main door? Mm -hmm. So we got two ends of the door. My door, where I sit, my church sits right here, and that's the door. Mm -hmm. So I, if he would have came through this side of the building, I would have seen him come through the door. So he came through he another. He came from the back side of the building. So when he come through the back, so my chair is, is right here. And your back is never locked. Huh? Your back door the is back not locked. Is because it's another barbershop on the other end. Okay. Right? It's a barbershop, it's a church down there, and it's a uh, hair salon down there. Mm -hmm. So he came in from behind you? From behind me. So when he opened the door, I don't recognize this Kevin Spencer. I just recognize a dude and me being a gentleman. I'm going to shake your hand because you're coming into my barbershop. Mm -hmm. But as this shake go, he punches him. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa. You know what I'm saying? My mind, like, and I say, this Kevin White and this Charles and Spencer. Oh, my God. Yeah, this Charles Boom. White and Kevin Spencer. I got the guy grabbing him. You see what I'm saying? But the brother back here, too. What the brother? He didn't come up with? Yeah, his brother. Well, what did his brother, brother do? There, that's, his brother the standing, that's his brother standing I didn't right know there. That. And what that's did his Kevin brother White. do? He didn't do nothing. He didn't do that. Yeah, Kevin but White. But my brother in there and seen that, and like you would want to do something to help your brother. That was Kevin White. See, I didn't even know that. You just, yeah. Oh my, that was his brother standing there. That's his brother standing right there. But I, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I take the, I take a look at that two ways. This man just done thirty one years in prison. Don't want to get in trouble no more. You don't want. You know how scared he probably was. You know all the thoughts that was going through his mind? So I kind of played, I was like the same thing, get back, don't you do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I even said, Charles say get back, don't do nothing. So he was in a, I want to help you, I want to. So Charleston said that to him, yeah. his brother. But at the same time, Charleston was asleep. Everything should have went out the door. But then put myself, okay, being the unbiased person that I am, mm -hmm. put myself in his position, I would be blaming you in some form of fact because if somebody is asleep and unaware of what's going on and you're in my head, I'm feeling that you are seeing my whole surrounding. So you should be the one tapping my shoulder if something crazy coming up close to me. Am I doing dreads or I'm trying to fade your hair in good? I didn't know I was no security guard. I'm just saying. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. My job is to concentrate on your hair and get this line and have your ears your straight, not looking around because everybody come through my door is important. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no enemies coming through my door. I ain't got no beef coming through my door. If Charles came through my door, he I know he felt safe because why, why he went to sleep. But you know the type of person that he is and you know that he has a lot of enemies because of the things that he says. Man, did y'all see him on the couch with Trap Boy Freddy doing a, on his podcast? Mm -hmm. Did he tell Trap Boy he going to bust his house, he going to do all this? And then you got him on your podcast and y'all buddies. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you got going on, fam. I don't know if you acting. I don't know what you got going on. Mm -hmm. So my thing, I'm just gonna cut her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never. I've been. That's the first problem I ever had in my shop. That's the first problem I ever had. The only other problem we had was the other barber got shot on the other end, but he got shot at the store. Mm. And he ran back down, and I knew he wasn't going to make it if he keep going. Mm -hmm. So I had him lay down in the parking lot mm -hmm. and pry pressure to him until the ambulance came. And that's why they say it's a high crime area, such, such, because it is. But if it's a high crime area and you got a barbershop over there and you got a mobile, don't you think it's kind of like trying to regentrify that area? Right. Oh, yeah, for sure. Don't, don't you think somebody, if Charles and White sold into the community, won't you think he's supposed to pour into that? Mm -hmm. Huh? Don't He ain't paid for no kids around, no other place, none of that. I funded his brother when he come out. I rocked him out the door from the prison. I got pictures from us in the barbershop inside the prison to him doing my hair outside the prison. Do you mm -hmm. think I try to say them up. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, hold on. His wife was in there too, right? No, she wasn't. Well, she, but no, how, she wasn't. So where did she appear from? Because in the there video, it showed her. It showed her. You hear me? So after the commotion, it's almost over with, right? So this is, and like, she has a thing around her neck, like she was you. getting her hair done. It's, it's another salon upstairs. He don't even know his wife up there. You see, gets a lady up How he don't know where his wife is? They doing what she doing, she doing, they doing, they hurt. I don't know what they doing. I don't know what nobody wife. My wife don't know everywhere I go. Hmm. So she was there, she just came, she ran you know? down there. She No, nah, but she ran. Huh? She ran down there, evidently. Somebody went Everybody there. ran down there. You got, you can hear, you can boo, do, 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 do. So you got people, it's, it's shops upstairs. And she, so everybody here, so everybody come down the stairs. 
And she didn't know her husband was down there. No, and when she ran and said it's him, she automatically ran over to him and jumped in front of him. That's what threw me off because I was trying to figure out how he got the mop. But see, as he thought he got the mop and she I, in front of him. This time I'm wrestling with, with Kevin Smith. So I'm trying to tell him, man, get in the closet, man, so you can come. This day. I can get him out the door. You were trying right. to get Charleston to get in the closet. I'm trying to get his brother in here with him. Okay. okay. But Charleston keep Charleston keep agitating the scene more. Mm. Bitch ass nigga. So, so he grab a goddamn water, my, my spray bottle, and like he gonna hit it. That's how you know he know it ain't no well, gun. What's that gonna do? A spray Thank bottle. You, that, what you gonna get somebody? You gonna get an alcohol bottle and try to hit somebody if they got a gun? No. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.